Mr. Marston, sir, John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, 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 so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> <laughs> Friends! Hard-working souls of uh, plain view, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, Fraud. swelling... This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time to take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. St. Homer Bonus has not been looking down on me favorably. Who? Homer Bonus, the patron saint of business man. I'd say he's giving you your just desserts. Those in Facebook clearly informed of my refund policy. You can only shit on people for so long before they decide it's their turn to pull down the pan. A crude metaphor in every sense of the word, I hear, boy. You leave the business to me. Do I try to tell you how to rob banks? Robbing banks felt more honest than this. Shot, my boy! 
I tell Louis Pasteur didn't have to deal with this shit. Look to the front, John! Excellent job! Now let's make haste to Cueva Seca! For a man of the people, you sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. Keep your eye out, John. Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on science, John. How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. That's it! John, there's Cueva Seca up ahead! Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Very nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage. 
to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy. I'll show you the way.